Hi everybody. It's been a long time since my last video or any other blog posts, but I've been working on a lot here and I thought it was time to give a quick update. What I'm going to show you today is the pendant working with my new EMC PC that you can see the screen of right here with my X2 benchtop mill that you can see over there. Kind of, It's a little hidden by the enclosure. I'll give you the quick shop tour. It's very busy. It's very crowded in here. As you can kind of see, I've got the mill in a enclosure there. I've got the PC set up on some workbenches there. I've got a lathe right over there next to it. If we turn all the way around, you can see some of my other tools and my drill press and my uh, lovely bandsaw there. I wish I had room for a big one. Over there in a dark corner, you can see a little sheet metal shear. And over here is uh, my layout and measurement area. Uh, you could call that the metrology department if you wanted to be really fancy. But anyway, to get on with it, let me show you the pendant here. I've got EMC booted up over on this PC. Everything is homed and all set. We can take the pendant and I'm going to start out by just kind of finding a spot here. We'll start it out jogging at a very low speed. And you can see with this, this is moving about one hundredth of an inch per encoder pulse. So it allows us to be pretty fine. If we move the dial a little more consistently, we get a little smoother and more continuous motion. Switching to the Z, we'll go at a high speed. We'll see how that would allow us to kind of move nice and fast. And then when it comes time to do a touch off, if we want to go all the way down to one thousandth, this makes it really easy to move the axes one stepper motor pulse at a time. And since this machine has a two to one reduction there, we're only getting uh, five ten thousandths of an inch or half a thou uh, per click there. Makes it very easy to get in, really sneak up on things in a very precise way. So just to show here, now we also have continuous feeds. So if you're doing manual milling, the continuous feeds are probably a lot nicer uh, if you're just finishing off a surface or something like that. makes it a lot easier to do things. It's also nice in that you can just easily switch around and move things a little bit and kind of scoot around without having to change the, uh, without having to switch the axis setting on this. Some people like to have multiple encoders and do one wheel per axis. Uh, what I've done here with the Arduino, you probably could adapt it for that type of purpose. Last thing I'll show, if I hit start on here, we'll start the program. This program isn't really set up right, so I'm going to stop it pretty quickly, but just wanted to show that kind of going. So, uh, nothing terribly new about this, but uh, shows it all working together with an actual machine. I uh, have a little bit more work to do to get uh, the spindle and everything else totally hooked up. But uh, at this point, it's getting pretty close to finished, and uh, it's pretty much ready to use. After I'm done with this, I'll be hooking it up to my lathe as well, and, uh, and we'll be uh, off making some parts finally. Thanks, everybody. Hope you found it interesting. Have a good one.